Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Sharp 21 inches CRT TV. Model 21 JN8. It's turning on but the video is shaking. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, subscribe now and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. So let's get started. Papasalamat po yung mga taga bacon Ayan Alam nyo naman po yung mayon di ba nasa bacon Bacon po yan Yung paligid po ng mayon Ay uh, para po sa bacon yan ha? Nagpapasalamat po sa Edsel Representative Edsel Lagman Obviously, this capacitor is bloated. This is the common fault of this model. Let's name some parts components of the CRT TV before we replace the capacitor. This is the main power supply. This is the horizontal output transistor. The main capacitor. Posistor. jungle IC audio video switch and audio amplifier this is the tuner right loudspeaker anode cap and left loudspeaker this is the vertical output the power transistor The switching power controller. This is the flyback transformer. The orange wire is the screen and the brown wire is the focus. And this is the high tension wire going to the anode cap. This is the CRT circuit board. The CRT socket. and the three transistors are the red blue green driver this is the neck of the picture tube purity rings
and the deflection yoke. If I have a CRT TV repair these days, I enjoyed it too much. Repairing CRT TVs is bringing back memories of struggles and challenges. The complexity of a CRT TV is very different from the LCD TV. In my experience, CRT is harder to repair than LCD TV, especially if repairing with the chroma section. Let's measure the B plus voltage. This is the bloated capacitor, it's okay to measure the voltage here. The voltage is fluctuating from about 159 to 150 volts, and it drops to 73 volts when the TV turns on. Let's remove the capacitor and replace it. It's 100 microfarads 160 volts. Let's find 100 microfarads 160 volts from these scrap circuit boards. I just found an exact value. Let's test the capacitance. The capacitance is 107 microfarads which is very good. Let's test the bloated capacitor. It's totally open no more capacitance. Let's solder the good capacitor.
The B plus voltage is now stable at 117 volts. And the video now is normal. The video looks flickering in the camera but not if you see actually in person. Let's also fix the channel button. Looking good. A few moments later The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. If you want more videos like this, just ring the notification bell to never miss the latest video. Once again I'm Tefs, see you again next time, bye for now.